We are covering Colorado first with your first forecast, Chris. I think that sounds like a great weekend activity. You and I should go. I would totally do that. Let's <laughs> do it. <laughs> a live view there for you from Mile High, looking back toward the mountains and foothills. There are still some showers out there. And if you did not get one today, there's still a chance you could. I'll show you a radar here in just a minute. Ermelin Shively was out driving around along the front range today, got this great picture. Very ominous looking clouds, but the bases are quite high off the ground, so not a lot of precip falling. A lot of Virga, but every now and then you'd see a precipitation shaft making it to the ground. 79 and 50, the official numbers at the airport, 77 and 58 here at CBS 4, close to the normals of 82 and 52. Records are 97 and 40. We're currently in the low 70s with a south south wind at 18, uh, barometers 30.04 inches. Current temperatures across the state, 70s and 80s on the east and western borders, but in the middle, we've had a lot of rain cooled air, so you find a lot of 50s and 60s. Colorado Springs, 54. Four degrees at this hour. Cynthia Fist and Silver Plume said just a few drops of rain there today, 61. Karen, 75 in Superior, has mostly been dry. Radar is busy. A lot of lightning out there. And uh, take away the clouds, you can see that a little bit better. We'll just take a quick fly up and down the middle of the state. Uh, just widely scattered showers and storms, mostly confined to the foothills. Every now and then, one or two rolls off and into the urban corridor. Got a few trying to pop here now in the northwest metro area from Brighton and Thornton toward. DIA Castle Rock. You've had some thunder today. The San Juans in South Central Colorado, a few thunderstorms, and we've even had a few severe here near La Junta. Currently, that warning has expired, but these storms are still flexing their muscles. And it snowed on Pikes Peak. Look at this picture. Fresh snow up there, uh, 28 degrees. Just let you know, life at altitude. There really are no seasons at 14,000 feet. Anything goes at any time. A cold front rolled through today. That was responsible for our weather. Still a couple of strong to severe storms possible in the southeast. For tomorrow, we have to look way out here to California. Can you kind of see that motion of the clouds headed this way? That's a disturbance. It will be into Colorado sometime tomorrow afternoon, and that is going to kick up some showers and storms. For tonight, everything should end by midnight. We'll wake up tomorrow fairly quiet and then watch to the left of your screen. Here comes that weather disturbance and it will bring showers and storms in again by early afternoon and those will continue to pop and move from west to east and up here in northeastern Colorado, we may see one or two storms get strong. So we'll watch that for you closely. Lows tonight, 40s and 50s for the most part, 30s in the highest of elevations. Tomorrow, similar to today, maybe a touch warmer in a few spots, but a lot of 70s and 80s showing up with 60s in the highest elevations. Here's the five day forecast. So it stays potentially stormy into the early part of the week and then we warm up and dry out by Wednesday and Thursday, but 70s to around 80 for the most part. Jamie, don't cancel Father's Day plans tomorrow, but after one o'clock, have a backup just in case you need to take shelter. Got it. But I love seeing those warm temperatures and the snow in the mountains. It's perfect. Our state has it all. It's lovely. Yes. Thank you, Chris. Well, it was a